All right, guys, this is the definition of a tabletop review. We are talking motorcycle helmet chin mounts, motorcycle helmet chin mounts. So my current one is the, and I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. This is around $60 on Amazon, obviously GoPro not included. Uh, yes, I'm using a 7 because I run this adapter to it, run the mic inside. It still shoots in 4K. I only record in 1080p, so more than enough for me. But this chin mount, it's like a clip clothespin or whatever, slides up in here clips right on it is i suppose universal to any type of helmet then i just plug my mic in right here tilt the camera back i'm good to go okay the only it's i've taken it on trips i've used it all season the only problem i have with this and it's a nitpick is this part underneath now it does not get in the way when i try to look down it doesn't do any of that sometimes it'll catch on the collar of my climb badlands jacket if i don't have it fastened I mean, I'm talking on the scale of annoying, it's like a 1.5 out of 10. Not a big deal, but I'm also a gadget guy and I went to a motorcycle course and saw somebody that had a much slimmer profile chin mount and that is why we're making this video today. We're gonna, we're gonna take this off and then in the mail I received from Ride Tech, let's try to get this in here, and I will show you their website and all that stuff. I bought the adapter and the mount these mounts are made for a specific helmet. So this is for the Arai XD4. Uh, they have several others on there and they even have them on their website. If we don't have what you uh, are using, send us an email, we'll let you know. It's basically a GoPro uh, sticky mount that goes right here. Then you snap in this and then we'll snap the camera on. And I think what I'm looking for, a little less of a bulk on the helmet. So that being said, let's open these up and check them out. So total for these two items was $32. Now, I believe most GoPros come with this, um, but it wasn't that super expensive, so I bought it anyway. And I believe this can uh, pivot a little bit if I loosen it up, which will make it uh, optimal for the best mounting position. You can already see the footprint that this has versus what this has is significantly different. So with that being said, let's uh, mount this to the helmet. Let me just look here. You can see it has a nice ride tech. Maybe not, maybe it'll focus. Um, but it is made specifically for this helmet. I believe it goes right here on the chin. Let's go ahead and get this mounted and check it out. That is definitely higher uh, than the old mount. But as you can see, man, it's a really, really good point. Of, uh, you know, it's going to be really nice for point of view filming uh, while I'm riding. See right there how it fits nicely. This side right here. Very cool, very cool. Move that out of the way. That might be the screenshot for the uh, for the video right there. So there you have it. I'm liking it. I think it's a much cleaner design than this. Just I'm sorry than this because this uh, clip-on portion just hung down pretty far below just making it a little bit annoying sometimes with this adapter the I'm glad I bought this because I did not own this with the GoPro and then of course if you want to take it off push the clip whole thing just pops right off no big deal no big deal and then you have access to your venting and all that stuff fun fact just uh, because I do the vlogging I taped the uh, the inside of my vent just to keep the uh, wind noise down. Put this back on here. I'm trying to do this on the tables with the helmet moving around is ridiculous. There, boom. I like it. Very nice. All right, check them out. Ride Tech again. I was about thirty-two dollars for the whole thing. A much cleaner design and uh, I think it'll work well I'm gonna shoot some more video this uh, this weekend with it all right guys thanks for watching I'll link down to everything in the description take care